didn't you marry the man you chose to have a child with? He wasn't good enough for me. What I need you to understand, on the open dating market, you come into the open dating market with a baby from a man you say wasn't good enough for you. To us, to men like myself, to men with good sense, that would says she is a poor judge of character because she gave a man the highest honor a woman can give any man on the planet a child and then she gave a man who wasn't good enough for her a baby sorry ma'am i'm allowed to make poor judgments you are but the world does not owe you understanding first of all your child is your least of your problems because you can get your ass up here and be emotional and talk loud it's going to overcome the fact that you made a baby with a dude that you say ain't good enough that's your problem the world does not owe you understanding. And you sound like you need a whole lot of damn therapy because you're far too angry about what you chose to do. You can't make this shit up, people. What are some things that a husband deserves a present for? That's a good question. I haven't really thought about that. When you say a push present. Um, well, we're making the child together, but I expect a gift. After. So, I, well, so I don't understand. Who's the present for? The present's for me. Okay. But you just deserve a present? Well, I uh, sat and I did the pregnancy. I'm the only one that can go through that. So, yeah, I would get the present. No man is going to get you a gift because no man on this planet would be stupid enough to get in bed with you. And if anyone does make that mistake, then you will make him regret it his whole life. Cost me? Well, this is a fantastic question. There's direct and there's indirect costs. Direct costs, I lost $106,000 out of my 401k retirement plan I spent 20 years contributing to. I also lost half the equity in the home, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, cash, and savings that I also spent 20 years contributing to. I also lost half of all the non-liquid assets like furniture, household goods, electronics, cars. Keep in mind, I paid for all of these. And this is in addition to financially supporting her and her slash our daughter for 17 years, which is many hundreds of thousands of dollars. I'm now broke, live in a two-bedroom apartment, and have a negative net worth for the first time since I was, I don't know, 25. Indirect costs, my job, my sobriety, my self-worth, my masculinity, my hope for the future, my ability to trust women again, my belief in God, my pride, my motivation, my physical health. I don't know, let's just say... Every and this is just one of the thousands of men who have suffered because of a selfish woman who one day decided that she wants to end her marriage and explore the world. All because of some brainwashed women telling her that she is trapped in a cage. We got you the meal. Thank you, thank you. The off. Thank you. The rest of the sandwich. I know. Why? You know how I'm hungry, but this is all I could afford. What? This is all I could afford, dude. Why? Because I'm running low on money. Hmm. You should have ate some at home. Straight up. <laughs> You're not gonna offer to share or nothing. Share what? My one tip is out? You greedy, bro. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm gonna be hungry if I share with you, then we both gonna be hungry. You might as well just wait and eat some at home since you don't got the money. So you only want to offer to pay for me to get something else? Why would I pay for your food? <laughs> all right. She has red flags written all over her, and this man should dump her as soon as possible because there is absolutely no reason for him to keep her around. She provides no value or support to him. She is just a cash burner. That's it. What is that financial bracket? Um, at least make at least a hundred thousand a year. So yes. if he made seventy k, don't reach out to you. Mm, not really interested. And there's that magical one hundred thousand dollar number. Okay, be taller. She wants a taller man. Yes. Um Now we already got to the money question, which is make at least a hundred k. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, let's do the Kendra Cam. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Ooh, yeah. We see you, girl. <laughs> yes, I'm a plus size woman. So. So not only is she masculine and independent. At 5'10", she's well over 200 pounds. Easy. And at 39 years old, a single mom of two young kids, I don't see how that's a good deal for any man. For a 40K man, for a 50K a year man. So I was married for 10 years. I got married young. Here we go. 21. I already had a baby. He was eight weeks old at our wedding. 
I remember feeling like my marriage was temporary from the beginning. And here we are, 10 years later, going through a divorce. He didn't really start this process. I guess it was it was more so me because I was always looking for someone else because I didn't know how to be loved or how to accept love from somebody. And so while he was fighting for me, I was pushing him away. I left the good guy. I left the guy that everybody looks at and is like, that's a dad. That's a husband. That's how it's supposed to be. He did the dishes. 100% guarantee that this man is much, much better off, homie. Seeing these videos, man, there's more and more of them every single day, man. I'm watching these women out here that, you know, oh, I left a good man. I didn't want to be with him anymore. He was such a good dad, but I want somebody else. Homie, one of the most important decisions you're ever going to make as a man is the woman that you pick and choose to be with. And I know a lot, there's so many men out here just they're not taking this shit seriously enough, like my videos. They're here for a reason, homie. I'm trying to teach you guys because, girl, the person that you choose to be with, homie, she can make or break you, man. You know, this is this is one life. You spend 10 years with the wrong woman, your life's done. You know, I mean, you, you have a child with that chick, your life's fucking over. And I'm telling you, 18 years of child support, fucking you have to deal with this chick the rest of your life. It's one of the most important decisions you're ever going to make as a man is the woman that you choose to be with. Dig that shit to your head, man. This this man's better off. He said that you should be careful of the woman you choose to spend your life with. I say that men should not look for women anymore because the risk of marrying a woman completely outweighs the benefits a man can get from it. Ever get approached by men in public or at a party or even on social media? This may be actually because you are much more attractive than you thought you were. Did you know that we are much more reluctant to approach other women that are incredibly beautiful? Rather, we play it safe and we talk to people that are usually on our level. That way, the rejection most likely won't happen with someone that is just average to them. There are so many gorgeous women in public that simply never get the time of day from men. That is because if they get rejected by someone that is beautiful, that will hit them in a spot that is just unbearable. So instead of feeling down about the fact that you don't really get talked to at a party setting, or you rarely get attention from men on your Instagram stories, etc. It probably is that they are afraid to even talk to you because you radiate so much beautiful energy. So if you want to get any sort of attention, you may have to be the one to reach out to them first because you're simply too beautiful. Where are all the guys that initiate dates? Where are they? Why are you even asking? I mean, you told them to go away. You told them to leave you the hell alone. You told them you didn't want them, you didn't need them, and that they really served no purpose. And they heard you. So they're off, hanging with their bros, maybe having a few beers, playing some video games, have a little brisket on the smoker. They're enjoying life. They're done dealing with your drama. They're done dealing with your inane expectations. They're done dealing with you. I mean, let's face it. You told them you'd rather be with the bears. So that's exactly what they're doing. They're letting the bears have you. You see, ladies, you've made one huge mistake. You forced men to look at things. You forced them to analyze relationships and see if they're worth it. And they found out, no, they're not. They find that their lives are much happier and much richer without...